it fast everybody on this episode i'm gonna show you how to take this super saiyan vegeta give him this upgrade this upgrade and as always we're gonna dive a little bit on the backstory of the character that this figure is based on you're not gonna want to miss it you're gonna want to sit back and enjoy this intro So as we covered in my first form Frieza video, if you haven't seen that one, I'll leave a link in the description below. But throughout that entire of Namek and Frieza saga, Vegeta was the one driving the idea of the Super Saiyan. The entire time he was saying he was a Super Saiyan, he was saying he was a Super Saiyan. And then it turned out Goku was a Super Saiyan. So it would only make sense that he would make his mission to become a Super Saiyan. The first time we saw Vegeta actually accomplish this was against Andrew. Now the first time we saw Vegeta accomplish this was against Android 19 and 20. He gives us his backstory how he's flying all through space training until finally his Super Super Saiyan is awakened, which brings me to this figure, which is called Super Saiyan Vegeta Awakened Super Saiyan Blood. <sighs> Once again, it, it's a lot. The front of the box has the image of Vegeta getting ready to make a blast, or he's in a boy band. Quit playing games with my heart, my heart. That's <laughs> side of the box, you get that palm again, you get an image of Vegeta's face, and you get his boot. Quick note about that boot. Now I mentioned Vegeta turning Super Saiyan for the first time. For those of you who like nerding out like me about the backstory, these aren't the boots he was wearing the first time we saw him turn Super Saiyan. So this figure might not be based on that moment. We'll keep chunking along and I'll let you know later on in this video as we continue to upgrade. If you guys already know what these boots are based on, go ahead and leave that comment right now. Let's look at the back of the box. Back of the box, bunch of images of Vegeta. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and do what we do and say those two magic words. Oh baby. And there he is, the Awakened Saiyan Vegeta. Now we got a lot to cover today, so let's go ahead and do a quick review of this figure so we can get to those upgrades, because I know that's what we're all excited about. With this Vegeta, you get four pairs of hands, the two fists that come on the figure, these open palm hands, these grasping hands for a blast, or grabbing balls, Dragon Balls that is. These two hands that look like karate poses. You get this thumbs up hand, because even Vegeta wants you to hit that like button. Then you get these crossed arms in case you want to hit the dislike button. It all helps the algorithm. You do you. You get three different face plates. You get this one where Vegeta's yelling. Nice detail on the face as far as like the line work that's on there. You get this smirking face plate and you get this more stern face that comes on the figure itself. Let's be honest, Vegeta got a little bit of a RB face. If you don't know what that is, Google it kids. Wait, if you're a kid, don't Google it. Get off this channel. Hit that like button first. Now the hair on this Vegeta is that glossy shimmery paint, which doesn't look too bad in these lights. Now I don't hate this shiny look, but I just kind of prefer the matte, which that's part of the upgrade. I'm gonna show you how to get that matte look in just a second. I like the paint with the blue that's on here, the gloves are little gray nice detail on this armor and as always sh figure arts doesn't do any line work on their bodies which is kind of disappointing and something i wish they would do his arms come up to a t you get a little bit more than 90 degrees there in the elbow joint you get a side to side rock on the wrist no up and down hinge you got this little hinge joint that bends it forward that much it bends it back that much and then you get that ugly gap right there it bends forward that much it's back a lot you get that weird butt that much in the legs a lot of rock on the ankle and you get this toe hinge now here we have these boots like i said those boots were from the moment where we first saw him awaken as a super saiyan actually this style fits more of what he was wearing when he was preparing for cell or even fighting cell in the battle just a little nitpicky thing because if you get that android 19 and you want to do that scene where he's pulling off his arms it's not going to be screen accurate but there's a figure out there that does fix that issue i'm going to be reviewing it in the future so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when it comes out you can know what's up so that's the quick rundown of the figure now let's get to our first upgrade which are these head sculpts from Taunton Art Toys. Now, if you haven't heard of Taunton Art, I would suggest to follow them on my Instagram. They're making some cool stuff, which we'll be reviewing on this channel. I'll also leave a link down in the description for the Instagram where you can purchase these if you decide to. Now, let's take a look and see if they're even worth buying. So, this thing comes with six face plates and a neck peg so you can fit it on other figures. You get this hair sculpt, which is a matte yellow. It's a nice yellow to white fade on it. The sculpt on it is really awesome. The line detail in the hair looks really cool, <laughs> especially this face plate that comes right off. On it like he just shot his load but it did nothing to his opponent at all or maybe he stepped on his toe that that i mean that hurts and it doesn't matter if you're saying or not saying if you ever stubbed your toe uh, same thing here i mean the paint detail on these faces is really good the line work around the eyes and the mouth like taunton art does a really good job we also have this stern looking face plate that comes with it once again nice detail even on the chin there's a little paint right there you get this very confident face like vegeta just did something to freak out his opponent and scare him and he's like ha ha told you don't mess with the saiyan prince we get this angry screaming face as well as this angry grinning face right here and the creme de la creme the one i'm most excited about the one that sold me on getting this thing 
is this face play right here. So we have that fist indention right in the face. I'm gonna be really excited to pose this guy, create the B-roll that you guys are probably watching right now. But the one thing I haven't done yet is actually put the head on the figure. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now it did come with this other pin. I'm not sure if it's needed or not. Like it does look a little bit smaller than the other one. So we have this extra neck peg that came with the head sculpts. And then we have the neck peg that came on the figure itself. It seemed to be about the same size. I could be wrong, but it's always a good rule of thumb before you try to work with the new figure is to warm it up. So we're gonna warm up this head sculpt in a hot cup of water. Just leave it there for like 10 seconds. And by the way, if you like this Dragon Ball design on this mug, I actually got this grade eight cup from a buddy, fellow YouTuber, Nostalgia Unbox. If you guys wanna get a copy of it, I'll leave a link in the description. But for now, let's check out this head. All right, so we warmed up the head spilled a little water <laughs> i'm hoping this works with the neck peg as is it seems like it does it's just gonna take a little bit all right awesome Whew. all right good news you don't have to switch out the neck peg on this figure just like i said make sure to warm it up and get your nostalgia cup He's a buddy, I'm a pitch. Buy one, check out, check out his channel. And there we go, that looks pretty sharp, you guys. You get all the mat all the way down, the mat of the body, you don't have that shiny glimmer that's on there. Okay, pretty awesome so far, but that's just step one in our upgrade. We got one more thing to look at in this Vegeta upgrade, possibly a bonus, so stick around. I mean, I like the design on the box, it's pretty cool. I didn't show you guys the design from the head sculpt from Taunts and Art. Cool design there. Fun little design on the back. You got Goku in the back there. If you saw my armor and trunks of you, you probably already seen these hand accessory set. You get him pulling up his gloves. You get him swiping down an effect. You get an effect that goes over a fist and you get this hand here to palm a blast. So let's do the first upgrade and switch out this arm. Now the arm of this Vegeta just pop off here at the bicep area. It's typically used for this cross arm pose. Taunts and Art, very smart to give advantage of that. First thing first, like always, stick it in your warm cup of water, get it warmed up and get your Vegeta cup. <laughs> Forgot I had dirty toys in there, ugh. All right, there you go. Next thing we're gonna have to do, let's take off this hand, get him posed just right. And there you go, you got this awesome pose of Vegeta pulling up his glove there. There's nice detail on the glove. It's kind of a, a loose plastic there. Now, once again, really make sure you warm it up. I had a little difficulty getting the hand on there, so I had to rewarm it up. Again, I, I didn't put that in here. Kind of magic of editing. But you want to make sure the plastic is nice and pliable. Put this arm on and then get the hand on there as well. Okay, now we have these two extra hands that are both for the left hand. We'll start with this chopping hand. It does take a little work to get in there. It has this peg down in the bottom. There's a slot for this effect that's right here. This effect has like a nice design for like a little swoosh here in the back. White paint at the bottom as well. This little peg just slides right on there. That way you can stand on there. And you can have different poses of him chopping it. You can either have him chopping it straight forward, chopping it down. That's a really cool effect. I really dig that. This hand has a peg on it as well because you have this blast effect here. Once again, you got that orange in the back, nice gold detail, a little bit of white paint on there, slides right in there, which is great. And I have Vegeta holding a power blast, which is really awesome. That looks really sweet. Can't wait to get a couple different poses on there. You're probably looking at the B-roll right now, which is awesome. Didn't I do a good job? Those are good poses, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least with this Taunton Art hand accessory set, you get this power effect right here, which is a nice blue. Once again, you get that white paint at the end of it. And this is just something that will go over his fist. It goes right in there perfectly. Take a look at that. Take a look at that B-roll. Take a look at those poses. I'm just talking to Taki so we have some more B-roll poses of that guy. Don't you like posing figures? It's fun. Pretty awesome. But like I said, we have one more bonus to look at. And that's how we're going to get this Vegeta body in his base form. And how we're going to do that is take a look at this Taunton Art Toys primitive Prince head sculpt pack. Now this head sculpt pack comes with five heads, but we're just gonna take a look at this one head sculpt for now. And that's Vegeta with this base form RBF. Now this head sculpt is very similar. The difference is this is Vegeta's base form. It's all black, great sculpting on the head itself. And you got this stern face. So there you have Vegeta with his base form head on. Gets a thumbs up for me and Vegeta. And really you can't have this armored Vegeta, which is pretty much based on that Cell Saga. And he spent a lot of time in his base form, especially when he was watching in the cell games. This is just a great look. Taunton Art Toys does a great job with these head sculpts. Really cool, good looking figure. Now you might have noticed with the box art, there's a special head that comes with this pack, Vegeta transforming into the Great Ape. And you might have noticed back here, Great Ape. That's gonna be our next review. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when that one comes out. Like I said, I'm gonna have all the links in the description for these items. Plus that artwork from Nostalgia Unboxed. If you guys haven't seen my Trunks review where we give him a special upgrade, you're gonna wanna click this video right here. And if you're a Dragon Ball fan, TMNT, and you just wanna get to know this channel, you're gonna wanna click this playlist right here. It has all my videos on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
We'll see you guys next time.